Hey guys, today the different kinds of industrial ships, starting with small T1 going to big T2. Now, what is an industrial? An industrial ship is a cheap, around 1 mil a piece, ship with a decent cargo hold, used by manufacturers and haulers of small stuff. The first industrials I want to talk about are the standard ones. Kalente and Minmatar have some special ones I will talk about later. Each race has minimum two industrial ships. One has a smaller, more than half smaller, cargo bay, but a better inertia modifier, so faster when not autopiloting, and, not less important, it has more HP, so can survive more. Now, going over the ships. For Amar, the Sigil starts with 2100 cubic meters of cargo space, where the best tower starts with 4800 uh, cubic meters. For Caldari, the Badger, I can't fly this one, starts with 3900 cubic meters, where its bigger brother, the Tyra, starts with 7300 cubic meters. Looks a bit bigger. Galente uh, has the Nereus, which starts with 2700 cubic meters, small one, and its bigger brother, uh, the Iteran Mark V, has 5, 000, starts with 5500 cubic meters. Now, uh, Minmatar, the small one they have is the Wraith, looks pretty interesting. And the big brother of the rest is a mammoth. That also looks pretty interesting, in my opinion. Now the special industrial ships. They have a cargo hold that only can hold one type of material, which is, starting from 41,000 cubic meters, are pretty big to start with, and have a 10% capacity bonus per racial industrial level. If you need to move ore, minerals, PI of ammo or ammo, use them. For uh, ore, we have the Miasmos, that starts with 4, uh, 42,000 cubic meters of uh, ore hold, um, with the 10% uh, capacity bonus for the ore hold. Then the Cryos, that's for the mineral, same ship, just um, bigger uh, in, in size. The Epithal, is made for P PI stuff, it's not used that much I think, um, but it can move a lot of PI stuff. And the Horder from Minwatar is made to move uh, ammo. It's not used that much I think, but can be very useful. There are two kinds of Tech 2 haulers, the blockade runners and the deep space transport. The blockade runners, like the Prorator, the Crane, the Viator and the Prowler are extremely fast and are immune to cargo scanners and can fit a covered ops cloaking device. This means they are super safe in high sec and low sec. I wouldn't pilot uh, autopilot with it though. It's the only way people uh, should be able to shoot you and because they don't know what you are moving, some of them might take the risk. It could be that they shoot you while you're empty, uh, they can't know. The deep space transport changed recently, like the Impel, the Bustard, the Okator and the Mastodon. They have a two, um, two warp core strength, that means that you can have one warp scrambler or two warp disruptors on you and you can still warp away. It also has a massive tank for a ship this size. The deep space transport has a bonus to its tank and to the fleet hangar capacity. The uh, fleet hangar capacity starts at 50,000 cubic meters, that's an advantage. With the 5% bonus you get to the fleet hangar capacity, it can get pretty big. The deep space transport can be safely used in high sec to autopilot around, as long as you don't move too valuable stuff around. Don't put too bull in uh, this ship. In all ships, keep in mind to not move too expensive stuff around. The safest ship to move expensive stuff in is a blockade runner, in my opinion. Use it like it should be used. I hope this was interesting. I'm going to make uh, a video still on the separate uh, ships. 
Stay safe and swim space. Bye!